Cat, it's Maximus here. I guess I'm restarting this whole review and it's going to be cheesy. I got this as a promo product. It was free. Uh, the whole reason I got it is I thought it was, it had this kind of interesting feature where you didn't need an account or an internet connection. You could, I have like this old phone, which has no, not even a SIM card in it, airplane mode, but it had this Bluetooth mode where it, you're supposed to be able to take a photo with the app. Like you could take a photo of the room or a wall or something, use this, perform a measurement and then Bluetooth connects to the app so you could take a picture and then actually like draw a little line on the app, take a measurement with the actual laser inferometer, the laser distance measure, and then have it overlay it onto that photo in the app, the different measurements you're taking. So you could, you know, take it and show somebody, here's the size of the bookshelf, show them a picture of the bookshelf and show them, you know, this is how wide it is, this is how tall it is. And I thought that would be kind of neat, especially since they weren't requiring, once again, an account or an internet connection. But no matter what I do, I can't get this darn thing to uh, get a measurement. I have Bluetooth turned on, have the app running on this, you know, it requires a 64-bit phone, so that'd be a Galaxy S6 or higher, or, uh, you know, I guess that'd probably be an iPhone 6 or iPhone 7 or something. But no matter what, keeps on saying device not found, and what's really disappointing is this 1007 number is the device. So it's showing up in the Bluetooth list, but the software can't seem to find it. So the whole, they need to uh, figure that out. The instruction manual isn't very specific about it. You know, I'm trying to press and hold on the Bluetooth button to try to get it to uh, do something. And it just doesn't want to cooperate. I guess if I turn it off, we can try it again here. But I don't think it's going to work. So anyway, this was real expensive. It was like 80 bucks or something on Amazon is what its list price was. Um, Built-in lithium-ion re rechargeable battery with a Type-C plug. Quarter inch 20 metal brass. Uh, it does have an inclement inclinometer so it will measure angle we have various functions so you can do triangulation there's like the straight line function 80 meter range so I thought it was pretty decent with 80 meter range even comes with this reflective card so if you're doing like measurements in bright sunlight where the the laser beam can get washed out and that's happened on my 200 foot aims, my 60 meter aims, and on my 80 meter old school Bosch. This works pretty well, but it sometimes will get errors too. But uh, the whole purpose I was doing for this thing was to try to get this darn Bluetooth connected app working, and it just won't find the darn device. And what's even more disappointing is I tried it on a more modern device, an S8, and still had the same issue. So it isn't the fact that this is just happens to be an older S6. The S6 or the S8 can't find the device. So I'd tell people to hold off on this. Um, kind of seemed like a neat idea. Although for how expensive it is, one of the, even though it has like a metal foot plate, which you think is kind of neat, um, what it's missing is for a price is a feature like this the Bosch has this extra peg here so you can get into not for getting into small holes but it's when you're trying to measure around a corner or off a lip let's say you're trying to measure the face of something and then like a, a recess this little post has actually turned out to be surprisingly handy and they should have had something like that for this unit I do think it turns off too fast I think the Backlight also turns off too fast, even though I do like that you have various um, measurement functions, so you can just do straight inches, or you can do feet, inches, and then fractions. So at least is that somewhat decent. Um, but really, I'm probably going to end up recommending the 60 meter aims, just because where this has an inclinometer, which is handy. I mean, the backlight turns off after like two or three seconds, and there's this doesn't seem to be any way to adjust that. The aims here has a two axis inclinometer, so I'd probably go with this. It's like a virtual bubble level, which seems to be just a little bit better. You can 
do these various modes. Of course, when you do your normal measurements, it's the same thing, but I like that it has a color screen, so it makes it just a little bit more distinctive. And you still always have that inclement, that two axis accelerometer in there. So that's the deal with an honest review. If you think that just because I got a product for free, I'm going to make a glowing review. What this is going to end up being is just the beater. You know, I have the Bosch, which was real expensive. I've had it for years. It is getting old. It doesn't have a backlit screen. I have this Ames, which is a little bit more modern. And I uh, picked up this unit, and at least it's, you know, rechargeable. And this is, you know, one I'll loan out, or once again, I'll just use as a beater laser inferometer. Uh, I was kind of attracted to it because it did do 250 foot range and, you know, was supposed to do Bluetooth, but it doesn't. Do like that it has a side button. Oop, I just did a area measurement. There we go. And uh, at least that's, anyway, enough talking about this. I really, be, uh, I would recommend passing on it until they get their Bluetooth connectivity worked on and resolved. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.